ball pythons. Ball pythons. Yep, just right. ball pythons. Has this last couple years, this, I guess, hasn't even been two years now, but there's definitely been a bit of a downturn in the market. Like, that's, yeah. I think, pretty obvious to everybody. Um, has that affected your five-year plan at all, or... Howdy folks, Brian Cusco here at Redline Report, and today we're going to sit down with Danny Schumann of Schumann and & Sons and hear about his journey in breeding and moving from hobbyist to professional, his plans of how to make that happen and what I think are a successful way to go about doing that sustainably. Uh, how long have you been uh, doing the reptile thing? Uh, we started in 2007. 2007? Okay, so 2007. it's been a hot minute. Yep. So you got in like right before, now you're out here local in Colorado, I assume? No. No, you're not. Where We're are you? We're out of Omaha, Nebraska. Omaha, Nebraska, okay. Yep. So we started in 2007, uh, got in with some bearded dragons. Bearded dragons, leopard geckos, and just kind of went from there. Did the, um, did the uh, 08 thing affect you guys out there? Not really. Not really? I mean, we started kind of just breeding small. Just grabbed a couple things, tested the water, seeing where things were going, and I mean, really didn't start doing shows until we started getting into the snakes in 2017. Okay, Is 10 we, years later. Yeah, 10 years later, we were just selling to pet stores and stuff, making kind of, getting our really our name and stuff out there to the pet stores locally. And what, what got you into, like, reptiles? So in 07, like, how were, were you in 07? Uh, I just went to a, pet, a local pet store with a buddy of mine. And you, you were how old in 07? Uh, I know, I'm asking you to do math. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Uh, let's see. I'll be 40 this year. Okay, so you were... So, now I have to do math. 20, I was about <laughs> 25. Okay. We're right, right around there. And it was going, going to visit a pet store? Just yep, like, just visiting a local pet store, checking things out. And the next thing you knew, you had yeah, some animals? Yeah, next thing you know, I had one bearded dragon. And then the one bearded dragon, I started doing research, and I'm like, oh, we could... You know, looking at all the different morphs and colors and stuff. And at the time, there was really nothing. Translucents and reds were basically what you were looking at. So I'm like, well, we'll see what we can do. Go from there. And What was it about snakes that got, that that was the thing that got you to come to shows? To, you're saying that's when you started coming to Yeah, vend? when I started vending, um, we did a few shows because uh, we did the bearded dragons and then leopard geckos. Then we got into doing some crusted geckos and gargoyles. And I'd take some of those and do a few small shows, but nothing like real crazy. And then uh, a buddy of mine, we ended up, we had two kids. And I'm like, man, the geckos is just taking too much time. So we sold everything off. My buddy's like, hey, you need to get into some snakes. And we got a couple of ball pythons and started going, vending more, or going to some of the shows and just met some of the, I mean, basically all the people that were talking to all the vendors and stuff and kind of just grew from there um so schumann and sons is you with your boys or yep nice my two boys uh, my wife helps out she's like everybody gives her a hard time because she's not in any of the pictures but she's like i do 50 percent of the work also <laughs> oh, this is good. well so at least the last names there so could she could be part yeah. of it. yeah yeah she could be part of it she's made a couple stickers for herself because everybody gives her a hard time that you're not in She's like, you're not in, but you do, you do the work also. You come to every show, you clean, you do all the, everything at the house. So she's like, yeah, but it just didn't sound right. Schumann and Sons sounded better than Schumann and Wife and Sons. <laughs> <laughs> well, is she not a Schumann? She is a Schumann. Oh, there you go. She's a Schumann. So I mean, Schumann and Sons, it all works out. Yeah. Yeah, Schumann. So you can, it doesn't have to be Schumann. It doesn't have Schumann to be. means all-encompassing all yeah. Schumann. Schumann. Yeah, the whole family. <laughs> whole family and the two boys, so. That's cool that she that she helps out a lot. I I think that it'd probably be tough. To, I mean, a lot of the successful people I know out there, like their their wives, are very supportive in, in actually yeah. doing the work. And yeah, for sure. That's pretty cool. Has she has she always been into it with you? Or when did how long have you guys uh, how old's your family? Like lots of questions. So we got together in two thousand seven, and then uh, like I said, I had the one bearded dragon when we got together, and she's like, okay, you know, we can try different different things, and she kind of supported me from the get go on what I wanted to do. The snakes were a tough sale for her because she was terrified of them. But once she, we had the first clutch hatch out and everything, and she was seeing the babies, and she's like, oh, this ain't too bad, and just started gradu gradually progressing. And now she's got no problem. That's Going cool. downstairs, we clean and do everything together. That's awesome, man. Yeah, my wife was the same way. She was very, she had, like, nightmares about snakes and stuff. And then yep. when we found out we are going to do snake things, she, she was like, what, what? She doesn't necessarily go down to clean, though. That, yeah. that would be cool. <laughs> I, I mean, she helps out every once in a while to clean. I mean, but most of it, 
falls on me, you know. She takes care of the kids, getting them to school and everything. And when I get out, I, my job allows me to get off before she does. So I go home and I'll try and, you know, do snake chores when I get home. That way, then in the evening, kids got sports and stuff. So you got full time work, family, sports stuff, and doing snakes. Did you do other reptiles still too, or just, just uh, snakes? My, so my son, my youngest son, is actually getting into the crested geckos and gargoyles. So he wanted to venture in and kind of dip his feet into that. And this is actually his first, well, he vended, this is his second show vending at. And so we helped him out, got him going with it. And I said, you know, we'll help you do this stuff. So we got kind of back into the crushes and gargoyles now because he wanted to get back into them. I know of, I mean, I'm sure there's many more, but I know of two other people for sure that I that live in Nebraska who I know are like big into reptiles. Is there... Kind of a decent scene out there? Or? Uh, we got a decent scene out there, yeah. I mean, not not oversaturated, but there's, I mean, there's a couple of bigger name, bigger name people there. Uh, between boas, geckos, some of them just don't, I mean, they're not on social media a ton, but they still produce some stellar animals. Do you um, do you do much social media stuff? Uh, we do. I know you got your Instagram page, of course. Yeah, we do a fair amount of social media. We're kind of slacking this year, <laughs> just getting everything going. I started a new job last year, so that kind of took a little bit of precedence over the social media part of it. Totally. Just stuff getting going with the new job. Do you have Do you have aspirations like for this to be a, a full time thing, or do you want to keep it a hobby? That something you do with the family all the time, or no? Or both. We're, so we're planning on uh, me doing it full time, probably within we're saying five years. Okay. Having the snakes be full time full-time income, you know, where that's what I'm doing. She's going to keep her job. She works at a vet, uh, veterinary clinic. So. Oh, that's a good combo. Yeah. So we'll keep that, and I'll do the snakes full-time. So what does that plan look like? What do, you, what do you think will be changing from what you're doing now to what you'll be doing five years from now, or what are the steps along the way that you, you're planning to take um, to get there? I mean, right now, I'm thinking probably it's going to be about two-year two year steps because if we're, I mean, the way we've made some, some bigger purchases this year to kind of grow everything. Um, produce some higher end animals that we're shooting for this year so i'm thinking that two years i'm thinking probably two years we'll be we'll be at where we need to be where i can step down and not be working full-time just do a part-time are you doing like multiple species like oh we just got the ball pythons Ball pythons. yep just right. ball pythons has this last couple years this i guess hasn't even been two years now but there's definitely been a bit of a downturn in the market like that's yeah. i think pretty obvious to everybody um has that affected your five-year plan at all or not really. Not really. No, nope. because the pro- so the projects we're going with, I think that they're still holding, they're holding that value, and we're seeing pretty good results with them. That's awesome, man. Yeah, so, I'm glad to hear that. I think that where we're going with those, we should have a pretty good, pretty good turnout. It's awesome. Do you guys do any kind of educational stuff? Um, also, I mean, I know you're very busy already with full time right. job and all that, but. Do you guys do any kind of stuff like in local community? I don't know, going to schools and stuff or anything not, like that? Not really, no. I how about, how many shows you do like a year? Uh, we're doing about 24 shows a That's year. That's a lot of shows? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's like a show every two weeks? Yes. It gets to be kind of, gets to be kind of much, but, I mean, we still we pack the kids up. We get them out there, get them learning and interacting with everybody. I think that's going to be... A big part of your success is how many shows you're doing and the fact that your boys are coming with you and, and running stuff. That's I see that being I mean if I if I had to think of a way for it to work for you, I think that's I think that's gonna work. Cause the more you getting out there, I mean two two shows a two shows a month is a lot. Right. And the fact that your family is coming with you though, it m- makes it sustainable. Yeah, so I'm not I I mean, they're with me all all the time. I'm not leaving them at home. You know, going and saying, hey, I got to go do a show. You guys, see you later. So we're all, I mean, it's a whole family deal. Yeah. We pack everybody up. We come to the shows. And, you know, I mean, pretty much everybody in the room knows my kids running around. And so, I mean. Yeah, I love that, man. That's awesome. That's beautiful, dude. Seriously. Mm, I love that. I said, well, I mean, we'll take them out to Tinley. We do the bigger shows. And I'm like, you guys know how to, you know what you're doing here. How old are they now? Uh, nine and eleven. Nine and eleven, and they're yep. holding it down. Yep, they're holding it down. They're, I mean, they're running stuff. My oldest one, he's back and forth with them between playing video games and coming downstairs. But my youngest, my nine-year-old, he's like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go help with the reptiles. 
help with the snakes, help with my geckos, and go from there. It's awesome, man. Yeah, kids are going to fluctuate here and there. You know, you can't, right, right. can't control their, can't. their likes and interests. Right. <laughs> I can't control everything, but, I mean, as long as you're putting in a little bit of effort and trying, then that's all I care. I mean, that's all I really want. Yeah. That's cool, man. Well, um, if people want to follow along with what you're doing and everything, where can they do that? Uh, so we're on uh, Facebook and Instagram. There are two main platforms. Uh, then Morph Market, obviously, for them. So. Schumann and Sons on all of them? Schumann and Sons on all of them. Yep. Awesome. Is there anything that you want to you want to put out there, your hopes and dreams, or just messages for folks that are in your spot, maybe looking to move to full-time at some point? Just keep pushing on. Don't let people discourage you, you know. Go for what you want to do. And don't just, I mean, follow your own dreams instead of somebody else's and make what you want to make. Yeah, man. It's good stuff. Right on, Danny. Hey, I appreciate you taking the time, dude. Yeah, That's a good time to get the music it. cracking. Awesome, dude. I, I love what you're doing, man. Having the whole family involved going to all those shows. Right. I mean, that's that's educational stuff right there. You got people coming to the shows. They see you with your boys. Like, that's, yeah. that's huge. That's, I mean, that's what we try to do. I said, you know, if we're going to do it, we got to do it as a family and get everybody involved. Yeah. That's awesome, man. I'm happy for you. Like I said, kids love doing it. And sometimes it's a struggle, but... Sure, I mean, sure. I mean, yeah, kids are a struggle. They're, they're, they're kids. <laughs> I mean, it's kids. They're kids. <laughs> it, it, if life was easy... It, wouldn't be fun anymore. So. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, kids, something i got to remind myself time and time again is, like, my kids aren't where I'm at. They're still going through what I, right. I've been through, a whole thing. of I can't expect them to be where I'm at and understand all these things. And even as much as I sometimes forget that, right. like i got to remind myself, okay, they're still, they they're haven't still, seen everything we've seen yet. They're, yeah, they're, they're still, still figuring they're it out. They're still kids. I mean, there's times here that I'm like, you know, the boys are back behind the table. And they're kind of fighting each other. And I'm like... It's like I was, I was young before too. Yeah, I mean, yesterday I want you to behave, and you know how to act. I mean, they know how to behave at the shows, but still, I got to remind myself they are still kids. You got to stop, take a breath, and we'll get through it. Yep, absolutely. So. <laughs> it's cool. That's encouraging for me too to hear that. <laughs> yeah, they're they're just kids. I mean, yep, they're trying their hardest, and sometimes, sometimes it'd be a struggle. I mean, there's days I. I struggle getting through, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, no doubt, dude. No uh, doubt. All right, thank you guys for watching. Redline Report, we'll be back here next week with another interview. Hope to see you then. Until then, y'all take care. Uh -huh.